Kenya, sir. Please come up. Karim Sana. I know they are going to give you a mic that is sanitized. Who is that? Yes. Mwesh, sisi. Kani kupenda mungu. Kutenga kanisa. Na kusupport good leadership. Sasa tuna kusupport, tuna tusupport. Tuna support yana. Tuna jenga, unajenga. Can you put your hands together for the DP one more time? <laughs> Sir. Karibu sana new breed. Na malove mob sana. Can you tell him malove, malove? Malove DP. When you're ready for me, I will invite some people to come and start off. God bless you. Appreciate the DP one more time. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Let's take our seats and thank you very much. Bishop and your dear wife and family, the new breed city church, good morning. Buona Yesu wasifiwe. God is good. And all the time, Thank you very much. I want to thank my friend Dumbi for facilitating um, our coming to this church today. And uh, let me say that I am truly, truly blessed to be in your midst. As a Christian, I have been to many churches. But this one is special. I have, <laughs> I have not been to a church where congregants help the bishop to preach. <laughs> so, this is a new level. And I am so proud to be here this morning. And my coming to this church has been long in coming. But I am thank God that it has happened today. <laughs> Halfway through the sermon, Bishop, I almost woke up to go home because I thought I have found what I came to do. And you spoke to my heart in a very special way. So I want to say to the members of this church, although we came here for Jenga Hekalu, but we have found more than Chenga Ekali. We have found, we have found the word of God preached to us in a special way. You people are truly blessed to have this man as your bishop. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bishop. I have uh, come here to join you in this great effort to build a sanctuary for this church. And we've come here not so much as leaders, we've come here as Christians. I want to thank you, Bishop and Christians, that you have continuously, with ceasing, prayed for our country. As you said, about nine years ago now, 
almost 10 years. We were in Ruiro, and we knelt down, and you and other bishops prayed for us. I want to testify of God's faithfulness all the way. have done many things. We have rolled out many projects. Some of them, even me as Deputy President, I am surprised how we have managed to achieve. And it has taken the hand of God to bring, and it has taken the hand of God to bring Kenya to where it is today. Hear it from me, yeah? not from a third party. Hear it from me. The achievements we've made from building the railway to 10,000 kilometers of tarmac to 8 million people connected to electricity to 140 new technical training courses, it has taken the hand of God. It's not because we had more money, it's not because we were more intelligent, it is God's favor and faithfulness that has made us achieve what we have achieved. And that is why we are unashamed. We are unashamed. We are unapologetic about our faith in God. Yes. Listen to me. We are unashamed of our faith in God. Many things have been said about us. We have gone through many accusations. We have people have a problem with how we worship. Some people have a problem about how often we go to church. Others have accused us of carrying money in sacks to church. But we will not stop. We are looking for the day when we will not be taking thousands. When we will not be taking millions. We are looking for the day when we will take billions to church. And I want to ask our friends to understand us. Please, we were not people were it not for God. We didn't have Godfathers. We only have God the Father. So, please, please understand us and allow us to worship God the way we feel we should. Are we together? So, I want to tell you that God is going to give us the next government that is going to respect the church. Listen to me. The book of Acts, chapter 20, and verses 32 and verses 35. <laughs> Paul reminds us that through his labor, he reminds us to remember the weak. When you hear me and my team talk about bottom up. 
we are speaking the language of the Bible. Do you understand me? Listen. Psalms 113 verses 7 and 8. The Bible tells us, and let me say this in Kiswahili. Biblia inatukumbusha ya kwamba mungu atamtoa mtu mnyonge mavumbini. Na huyo mungu atamfanya mtu fukara na maskini waketi meza moja na wafalme. Do you need another explanation of bottom up? God will lift people from below and they will sit them with kings and princes. That's what we are saying. So, Bishop and your great church, we've come here as your friends and as Christians and we will walk with you this journey until this Hekalu is done. We will walk with you. We will walk with you. So, I do not wish to say more than that. I am truly blessed to be in your midst. Uh, count on us to work with you, to walk all this journey until we are done with your sanctuary, I am told, um, will be, did you say restaurant or, some, or restaurant? And, and, and plus and plus and plus. And uh, myself and my team, we've come here um, to fellowship with you and to work with you and to tell you that we will walk this journey with you even as you walk with us in the leadership of our nation. I want to tell you that God is in control. We will have a wonderful time. We'll have a peaceful moment. And God will help us choose the leaders after his own heart. So, akuta kuwa na maneno, so relax. Yeah. God is in control. So, uh, there are many naysayers, there are many people who are predicting all manner of things, but we want to tell them that we believe in a living God and Kenya is in safe hands. Um, so we've come here with, uh, with what God has blessed us with. I, have, I had my good brother uh, Zimbabwe say that uh, we, can, we can bring in the yens and the dollars and the Kenya shillings. He only said we should not bring uh, the Zimbabwe dollar because I'm, I'm told that you need a wheelbarrow to be able to bring. <laughs> but, but just in case, but just in case somebody has Zimbabwe dollars and they need a wheelbarrow, we can provide one. <laughs> Just in case. Are we together? Uh, so let me say thank you very much for welcoming us here. Uh, we are Christians and we are disciplined. We are not, we, we don't speak politics in church. We know where to speak politics. So, 
I will uh, just ask uh, somebody to give a microphone. I will ask my, uh, we start with Margaret there, just to say hello and say her name. Margaret. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Until, until, until blessed, really blessed to have a deputy president that can 